Whatever you think society should do today to deal with the legacies of slavery and other forms of racism, it has to be grounded in a sincere understanding of the history. People have to know what happened. You don't know what happened, and if you don't know it in some detail, um, I don't think you're going to even be able to imagine possibilities for whether either reconciliation or reparations today. I just want people to think more deeply about the history and get into the original sources. Um, don't just read textbooks about it or YouTube videos, but read through things like the Articles of Agreement that was signed between Thomas Milady, the Jesuit priest who was the head of the Maryland province, and Henry Johnson and Jesse Beatty, two uh, planters in Louisiana. And just look at that contract that they signed for the sale of 272 people for $115,000. And think about what that means. How is it possible for a society to be organized where that kind of thing is routine, perfectly legal, and deemed acceptable by pretty much everybody except the people who are sold? So if you can kind of wrap your head around how a society does that, then maybe you'll be more attuned to what's going on around you today.